Welcome back everyone for the next part of Scarlet Nexus. In the last part, we did pretty much all kinds of Bond episodes. We reached a few level 5 ones and... Yeah, we didn't really have a chance to talk with Cargo. So I really hope once we trigger the investigation prompt, we're going to have a talk because they really need to talk about something. About his dad, you know? They need to make this clear. <laughs> Everyone, Major General Fubuki is up. And we need to talk with him. Seems like he's all fine. Says he's ready to talk. I see. I get the basic idea. The expansion of the Kunad Gate and Togetsu's schemes. You did a good job gathering all this information. What we need to focus on now is stopping Togetsu's plans. If we let them be, they'll just send someone else after us. And then civilians could end up getting hurt. Do you have any idea how to stop them? Well, I do have one idea. What if we were to shut down Babe, Togetsu's control computer? The Red Strings research, execution of the plan, that's all Babe. So you're saying if we can shut Babe down, that will stop Togetsu's plans? All right, you're the ones best suited to make a decision with the information we have. So I'll follow your lead. I'll leave Togetsu to you, but if there's anything I can do, let me know. Could you act as a go-between for the new Himuka government and the Seiron provisional government for us? The new Himuka government is in a state of confusion. Resolving that could restrict Togetsu's movements. So you want me to get the governments to agree to a ceasefire? If you can fan the underlying insecurity and suspicions the politicians have for Togetsu well enough, they'll definitely say yes. Right, I'll give it a shot. I'm not a politician though, so I don't know if they'll listen to me. I'll use my influence as a regiment commander the best I can. I'll get ready for negotiations right away. Fubuki, don't get yourself into trouble. You too, sis. Take care of them. I think we're safe leaving Suo and Seiron to Major General Fubuki. So, we're infiltrating Togetsu. What's our battle plan? Kagero and Kyoka have useful information on the area. We should use it to make a plan. Oh, sorry. Do you mind if I leave that to you, Major? Yuito, I want to talk to you before you go to Togetsu. Yes! Okay. What is it? Yes, I was waiting for this very thing. This talk needed to happen for a very long time. You don't know? Hey, how about we go somewhere else? Um, let's see. I'll wait for you in Kikuchiba. Come when you have the time. Kagura? Sorry, I'll be right back. I'll leave the strategizing to you. Hey, Yuito! Hanabi, wait. Sugumi, everyone, there's something I have to tell you. You too, Kasane? This is about Kagero, right? We should listen. No. Kagero killed Yuito's dad? I don't want to believe it. There is much I want to say. But perhaps we should follow him. I worry about leaving them alone. That's why I told all of you. We should go to Kikuchiba too. Kagura wants to talk. I bet it's about... No. I think it's best to wait until I hear him out first. And I need to fight my way through here? Uh, I mean, sure, why not? I don't even have SAS. Are you kidding? <laughs> what? What is this dead trap? Okay, that wasn't so bad, but oh, there are more of them. You know what? I mean, there's always the option of running through. Grabbing the environment's items, you know? You don't always need to fight. 
you have quick feet, that is. I mean, the only thing that I could possibly stop would be uh, saving and buying items, you know? Still need to wonder though, why the heck do I not have access to SAS? I mean, seriously, even if I were like, alone in a party somewhere in Kikuchiba or something like that. Yeah? I always have the connection. Always. So, where exactly do I even need to go? Is it a long walk or can I just uh Well it seems to be a long walk. Okay then. Kagero! Why the heck? So you came. Sorry for bringing you out here. What did you want to tell me? It's about your father, Chairman Joe Sumeragi. <gasps> you know that Kasane didn't kill him. I was the one who killed the chairman. It was you? That's right. I killed him. I'm sorry I didn't tell you until now. Why? Why would you do that? How could you kill my father? <sighs> Answer me! I had no hatred for the chairman. It was for myself. I guess self-defense is a better word for it. I mean, my power is perfect for assassination. I'm sort of in charge of that kind of work. Stop it! Tell me everything. What do you think I'm doing? I'm telling you because I feel bad. I know you can't forgive me, of course. So what do you want me to do? If you tell me to leave, I'll go. So that's how you want to do this? Yes, it is. That's the kind of guy I am, after all. Why is he taking that pose? Fine. You have your ways of doing things, and I have mine. Wait, 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 we don't need to fight. I thought we were here to talk. <laughs> oh, so that's how it is. You don't really want to do this now, do you, kid? Um. <laughs> do you really want to fight? Um. Fight me, Kagero. Don't think I'm playing around. Oh, shoot. Oh, God. <laughs> That's how you want it. Then I won't hold back. Good. Show me what you got. I don't have SAS! Again! I do not have SAS! <laughs> are you kidding? Okay, fine! Where are you? Found you! You won't get away! Oh, this is not a fight I want to fight. I can't trigger. Oh, this is so weird if I can't trigger it! At this rate! Wait, 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 do I need to win this fight or is it just a, a little uh, competition? Just asking, you know? Because I can't even use my. Oh god! Seriously! Get ready. That's stupid. You won't get away. Here we go. Where are you? Come on. This is invisibility to fight against invisibility is so stupid because I can't. Really? Target him! Get ready. And it's kind of bothering me! Can't really lie! Good. Well at least his health is really the best. Oh my god. 
Okay. Seriously. Get ready. Got it. Damn it. This should... Hurts. A lot. You won't get away. Get ready. I won't let it end here. Where are you? I can still fight. You won't get away. Get ready. Seriously, I hate this. Huh? I hate this. This is bad. It's oh, close. I mean, I see him clearly. It's not even a hiding game. It's just the fact that I always rely on my stupid auto lockdown. I can still fight. Huh? You won't get away. Get ready. You won't get away. At this rate. Here we go. Won't go easy. Oh god. Oh. Come on. Oh, this is so stupid. I'm serious. This is so freaking stupid. Get ready. This is so stupid. Kagero! <laughs> serious! You won't I away. hate fighting like this. Where are you? Oh! You had the potential to actually get me right there. I'm so safe. I actually you could have you got me fight. right there. The second. Huh? Where are you dashing? Where are Won't you dashing? Get ready. Okay. Got him. My god, we make use of so many medicines. Is that all you got? Damn it. You won't get away that easily. How? How are you stronger? You'll pay for what you did. Got to be kidding me. I can't go out like this. Time out, Yuito. Okay? I know you want to kill me, but wait a sec. If I die now, the 2,000 years of things I did for her will all be for nothing. <laughs> About time you told me the truth. Kagro. What? You... You knew. I knew you wouldn't tell me the truth if I didn't do this. And I did actually want to beat you up. You... Serious? Boy, do I look dumb right now. You'll tell me the truth now, won't you? Yeah. Yuito, Kagero. Did we interrupt you? A little. Kagero, let me see your wounds. I'll try to fix you up. Thanks, Sukumi. <sighs> Did everyone hear that? 
About my father? Yeah, Kasane told us. Are you alright? I guess so. For now. Please, tell me what happened to him. Right. Where to begin? Kagero, this is just a conjecture on my part. But wasn't it orders from Togetsu? It was indeed. I'm an assassin sent on a mission from Togetsu to infiltrate Suo. I see. So you weren't hired by the Seiron government. It seems Chairman Sumeragi was more distrustful of Togetsu than the former chairman. They considered him a threat. So you assassinated him for Togetsu? If I wanted to crush Togetsu's plans, Babe's plans, I couldn't be seen as a troublemaker. So it was self-defense. Had I done a little better, though, I could have fooled them and gotten by not having to assassinate anyone. Look, I'm really sorry about Chairman Sumeragi. If you tell me to face the consequences, I will. But first, I want to finish dealing with Togetsu. I know that's asking a lot, but please. Who is the she you mentioned? Is she the reason? I suppose I have to tell you. I have a family I left on the moon. A wife and a daughter. I first met my wife when we were getting ready to emigrate to Earth and had our daughter. If emigration no longer happens, my daughter no longer exists. I won't let that happen. That's why I have to do everything I can to stop them from using the red strings. It was all to protect your daughter. This was 2,000 years ago. She's been dead a long time, so I'm sure you think it all sounds silly. But I don't want my family, my daughter's existence, to be erased. If your family is so important to you, why did you leave them on the moon? You could have just brought them to Earth with you. I could have if I was a normal colonist, but that wasn't the case. I was an agent placed among the colonists. My job was to make the redevelopment of Earth fail. Why? The moon spent a thousand years fixing the Earth's environment, to sabotage it when it was almost finished. Did things change on the moon? If my memory serves me correctly, I heard that something flew in from outer space. You don't know? It's kind of a long story, but I'll tell you what happened 2,000 years ago. It was when Yakumo Sumeragi and the colonists immigrated to Earth. A comet passed close by the moon. The comet left behind the unknown substance called other particles in space. Gravity then began pulling those particles down to Earth and the moon. Other particles? Earth was still mostly unpopulated, so the effects were unknown, but the moon began to have cases of people turning into monsters. Monsters? Do you mean... Yes. Metamorphosis. If a living creature comes into contact with the other particles, they change into aberrations. Into others. At the time, the redevelopment of Earth had moved to the final step of gravity control. If that were sabotaged, we could stop the other particles falling to the moon. Basically, that was the Moon Faction's plan, and I was an agent who had been given secret orders to carry it out. Yakumo Sumeragi and the rest of the colonists were already on Earth. You were just gonna leave them to die? It's terrible, I know. But people like Yakumo resisted the Moon's wishes, and the plan ended in failure. So the Moon put Plan B into action. They pushed the other particles toward Earth, surrounding it, and making it so we couldn't return home. Oh, is that because of the extinction belt? Is the extinction belt all those other particles? Other particles surrounding Earth. The extinction belt. I think it's safe to say that the moon's space technology is far ahead of ours. The moon was overpopulated at the time, and I heard most of the people went to Earth. It was probably a plan to reduce the population. I was cut off from the moon, so staying on Earth was the only option. 
I don't know what happened on the moon after that. The metamorphosis might have spread. More people like my sister. Even so, I believed that my family was safe and joined Togetsu so I could return to the moon. I went in and out of cold sleep many times, trading off with comrades as we searched for a way to break through the extinction belt. But after several awakenings, I realized Togetsu had changed their plans. There was just no way I could allow them to reset history. That's why becoming a traitor was the path I chose. I understand. My father wasn't perfect. He would often make mistakes, especially when it came to how he led the government. But he was family, the only father I had. I just can't forgive you for killing him. But it's because of that, I understand your desire to protect your family. So let's stop Togetsu together. I will always resent you. But I think I can stand up to them with you. Are you sure? Yeah, I'm sure. I might have done something distasteful to further my goal if I had taken a wrong turn somewhere as well. So, I think I understand a little bit of your actions. You know, you're much more mature than I am. Or maybe I'm just too immature. I guess in the end, I made you decide after all. So lame. Let me help you stop Togetsu. Are you finished? That was a bit of a quick handshake, but well. <laughs> Kasane, I caused you so much trouble. I'm sorry. Stop acting so meek all of a sudden. It's weird. Kasane, I thought you were the one who killed my father. <laughs> I'm sorry I doubted you. It's just as much my fault for not saying anything. When I wanted to kill you, I thought that having you hate me would keep me focused on the task. I guess that makes sense. So, you don't have to apologize. Yeah, okay. That's enough talk for now, then. I'm sure you all have your own questions. Even I don't understand what's going on. But we have to work together and focus on what needs to be done. If that is your decision, I don't think we have anything else left to say. Oh, I love this music. Finally. They have decided. Alright, so our main mission is to go to Togetsu as soon as we can and stop Babe. What do you think of using my power to make everyone invisible in order to infiltrate it? But are you able to keep everyone invisible? I mean, we have a, a big party right now. I think 10 people? We should probably assume that Kagero and I are both known traitors by now. We don't have time to dwell on it. It's dangerous. But I believe Kagero's plan has potential. Togetsu probably doesn't expect an attack from such a small force. Let's consider it a sneak attack. Okay, let's do it. First, we'll climb Hiano Mountain and get close to Togetsu. <sighs> that was not good on my nerves. Don't scare me like that. I'm glad you're both okay. Wataru, Haruka, I'm sorry I made you worry. So, okay. We're supposed to infiltrate to Togetsu. But somehow, I don't think it's going to be that easy. I mean, come on. They, they come from Moon. They have advanced technology. They must be prepared for some kind of uh, counter-attack, right? They must be! It would be ridiculous if they aren't, no. you know? Anyways, uh, since we already know this area, I'm just uh, going to spear at the head and see you on the other side. I won't stop being friends with you. Friends? It's been years since anyone called me that. Thanks. 
Oh. But I think we never actually lost her, Kagero. Never. So. Seems like the item didn't really respawn. So that's too bad. Oh. Too bad. Yeah. <laughs> we, are, we are quite close. But a cutscene? So early? We're almost to Togetsu. Kagero, are you ready? An earthquake? I don't think we are ready. <laughs> the shaking. It's similar to the big earthquake at Kunat Highway. Huh. I think it's over. Is everyone okay? The Kunat Gate just briefly put out some strange numbers. An earthquake-type shaking was felt all across New Himuka. It wasn't too severe, so there shouldn't be too much damage. We're fine here. There was no significant damage to Hiano Mountain. It must have been caused by the Kunad Gate. Uh, hey! Togetsu is doing all kinds of research on it too, right? Yes. While we're stopping Babe, we should dig up as much useful information as we can. Yuito, how's your head? Do you feel anything weird about your power? Any abnormalities? Huh? No, not really. My head hasn't hurt at all since everyone gave me my memory back. Why? That's good then. When we were fighting, I felt... How can I describe it? It was like your power was spilling over. Spilling over? You might have just been excited. Does that kind of thing happen to you? Huh. I mean, he was under rage. Technically speaking, if somebody's really, really angry, they are getting stronger than usual. It is true that powers are affected by emotions. However, if that was not the case... There is a theory that it is a sign of decaying mental abilities. Apparently, when abilities are about to disappear, they become strangely more powerful. So you're saying... my powers are going to go away? Apparently, it's been observed in rare cases along with the aging of the brain. It shouldn't be happening to you now. Yes, that's true. However, his brain has suffered quite a bit of damage. I also used to be a dud, so it might be different from a normal human brain, too. What? You were a dud? Oh, she doesn't know it yet. <laughs> well, that's a weird spot to actually let that known, you know? Oh, right. I didn't tell you guys yet. You became a psionic from an experiment when you were a kid? I can't believe you were a dud. Do you know how long my power will last? Will it disappear today or tomorrow? It's not that sudden. But there haven't been many cases, so I can't say for sure. We're not sure that's what it is anyway. This is all just an assumption. Correct. I know that. If it's not going to be sudden, I won't think about it for now. Sorry for adding to your worries. Don't get too caught up about it. It's okay. I didn't realize it myself, so I'm glad you said something. Okay. Anyway, we should start watching our surroundings. We're near Togetsu. Time to turn invisible! You ready? Of course! Yes, we'll go right in. Oh, I love this. Ah, oh, Togetsu! <laughs> Yuriko, I'm curious about what Kogoro said. Are you really feeling all right? Yeah, I'm fine. My power apparently won't go away too soon, so we just have to see what happens. Okay, just don't push yourself too hard. You know, technically speaking, in the snow, his abilities uh, are really bad. I mean, the footprints. The footprints! Ah, <laughs> But anyways, I really hope it doesn't really lose his power. I mean, it could be something else. It doesn't have to be that case. Now then, 
Church HQ. <sighs> it's tough to keep this up with this many people. There's not much security inside, just like we thought. All right. We'll go straight to Babe. Look out! Oh my god! Damn. Was this a trap? Here they come. The Togetsu design children. Oof. Looks like they were expecting us. We have to break through. How? We're surrounded. Figure something out. If we run now, there will be even more security next time. I'll use teleportation. Not with this many people. We don't know the layout inside, babe. I know the location, and we have to take our chances. Kasane is right. We may not have another opportunity. If we get close to Babe, they'll have to take precautions. So why don't we just take the risk? I trust you. Let's get this done. Luca, do it. Here we go. Oh, yeah. Ooh, please don't teleport on the right trunk or like The entrance to Babe. Ooh, Luke. Luca doesn't really look so good. I guess it was quite a lot of strain. Good. It worked. Nice one, Luca. Maybe you should rest a little. No. I appreciate the concern, but I don't think we have that kind of time. Huh? <gasps> and they also have others. Of course. Why would they? <laughs> Others. Why? Hey, Haruka! Wataru! Damn. Sinet has been cut off. I don't know why there are others here, but we're better off than before. Yeah, there's not too many. Let's take them out. Uh, the uses of SAS. The more party members you recruit, the more SAS you will be able to use. Some skills you learn allow you to activate multiple SAS simultaneously. You can gain the ability uh, Battle Advantage by activating different SAS based on the situation. Yes. Uh, I even upgraded my SAS to be able to use four at the same time. So uh, with eight slots, I'm gonna have a lot of fun. First of all, I need to get I'm off. closer. The attacks to the outer shell are working. I'll try to break it. Never mind! The shell is broken. Aim for its weak spot. Oh god. Oh god, it hurts. Wait a second. Wait a second. <laughs> Gamma! Punch! Always punch, Gamma! Always punch! Let's do okay. this. Give me a second. Can I have a second charge? Doesn't seem like it. Lend me your power. There we go. But it's always. Oh, wait. I sense no others around us. I was about to say, it's never that easy. They at least respawn two or three times. This is bad. I never thought they'd toss a bunch of others around inside the babe building. You didn't know? Wait, what do you mean, toss? Do you mean they caught others and brought them here? Or maybe they know how to metamorphose, like Suo. Togetsu possesses the other particles. They used them to make others. This is the first time I've seen them used like this, though. The others were born here by placing live creatures in contact with the other particles. 
Should we keep going this way if we want to shut down Babe? I don't have the blueprints to the building, though it looks like the command center is as far inside as you can go. The terminal that tried to take control of Yuito only connects to the superficial information on Babe. All right, let's just keep going. Huh. Well, okay then. This is a creepy place, though. And let me just quickly see the map. Uh, okay, so the south is the exit. Oh, 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 would you look at that? What? <laughs> it's south of that corridor. Ahem. <laughs> yeah, that's a long walk. And turning back is not an option, right? Yeah, of course not. Well, then, I would say this is a good point to make a little cut. Since it seems like... Yeah, we have a long walk ahead of us. And I don't want to turn this part into a way too long. Part. Anyways, I hope you guys had fun. And see you tomorrow when we reach Babe. Until then, bye-bye!